and uh, you know talking of domestic cricketers some cricketers go on in domestic level despite not being in contention for the national squad like uh, uh, Devendra Bandela, uh, he made a record uh, yeah. you know, of most Ranji appearances. There was Amol Mazumdar. What, what do you think? What motivates them? I think uh, uh, sometimes in India, uh, we feel that you have to play Ranji Trophy or first class cricket only to play for the country. But uh, cricket is a professional game. And I, I played in county cricket and there have been players who never got an opportunity to play for uh, England. Like I, I played for Lancashire in 2007 and 2009. <clears throat> and there was a bowler who eventually went on to captain Lancashire. His name was Glenn Chapel. You know, Glenn Chapel didn't get too many opportunities to play uh, for England. But I think he played uh, county cricket till 40 years old. So it's a profession in England, and I think it's the same in India because you sacrifice everything uh, to become a cricketer. You sacrifice, even though you got uh, great career prospects by going in various fields, you know, you compromise on your academics because you have to focus a lot of your time and energy into becoming a professional cricketer. And just because you at some stage realize that you don't have uh, a chance and an opportunity to play for the country doesn't mean that you give up the game because ultimately that's your life, ultimately that's your career and ultimately that's your profession. And this is something which I advocated right from the first time I played Ranji Trophy cricket is playing Ranji Trophy cricket or playing uh, first class cricket should be done in a professional manner and just because you don't have a chance doesn't mean that the selectors see you or ask you to leave the game and that's why I think Devinder Bundela, Amul Muzundar, Rishikesh Kanitka, S. Ram, some of the players I played along with you know are, are role models because they continue to serve their uh, uh, team respective states they continue to do well in their careers as first class cricketers let me also add Mohamed Kaif, let me also add as Badrinath, you know, who is now playing for Hyderabad. Because it's ultimately a profession. And till you know that you're not fit enough, till you know that you're not contributing to the team you're playing, or till you know that you have become a burden on your team, I think you can continue playing first class cricket. And I would like a lot of young first class cricketers to learn from these names I've mentioned. Because not everyone gets to play for the country. But you still can be recognized as a very good first class cricketer and I feel that a lot of respect should be given for first class cricketer who have done well in their careers because it's very tough. You know, I, I know for a fact that how tough it is to be motivated each season to do well in front of no one. You know, when you're playing Ranji Trophy cricket, when you're playing Dilip Trophy cricket, there are hardly anyone who, can, who will come and watch the game. But still to be internally driven I think uh, it's very tough, you know, and I think that's where you know all these players have to be recognized, have to be complimented, and also these players are inspirations for me. In fact, that is what I tell to them whenever I see them. I tell that you're inspiration for the younger generation of players because everyone wants to be an international player who represent the country, but only a select few eventually get a chance because ultimately, the country is of 29 or 30 Ranji Trophy teams, but if you have only 15 players who go on to be selected for the Indian team. How many players are missing out? Does that mean that they leave the game? No, I don't think so. So I think all these players uh, are inspiration and a lot of youngsters can learn from these players.